So one of my favorite publishers in the entire industry is Bethesda. I know a lot of people have different opinions of Bethesda, but I really, really like their games. And when it comes to their RPGs, I think that Bethesda is one of, if not the best company, in my opinion, that makes them, in at least in the modern day industry. And if you've been paying attention to Bethesda recently, you've probably been noticing that they've been releasing quite a few games for the Nintendo Switch. And I don't mean like smaller games, I mean like big games that are like staples of Bethesda in general. Like Skyrim came on the Switch, Doom came on the Switch, and soon we could see possibly more games from them. For example, there's been a lot of leaks and rumors saying that Bethesda could possibly be working on Rage 2 and Doom Eternal for the Switch, which these are the newest games that were announced at E3, and these games could be coming to a portable console, which back when I was playing Skyrim in like 2012, thinking that I would be that Bethesda would be making games on a portable console, like big fleshed out games, did not seem real. And it's this reason as to why these are like going to be the definitive versions of games on any console because when they're on a portable console, even if the graphics aren't as good as say a more higher end console, I guess it costs more and has more power, the Nintendo Switch still would be I guess the definitive version because you can take it with you of that one feature that everyone really likes. And it's because of these reasons and more reasons that I'll be getting into that I think that Bethesda is one of the best, if not the best, third-party company publishing on the Switch right now. So this is a very big claim and I have to have a lot of evidence to back this up. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all that. However, if you have your own opinions, please let me know them in the comments. But without further ado, let's get into this. The most obvious reason is just Bethesda games are massive. Like you can legitimately get lost in them and you can spend like hundreds of hours and sometimes you can even put thousands of hours into Bethesda games because of their open world style and because of how much you can do in them and especially considering that when you play it normally before the switch was even a thing when you had to go somewhere you couldn't take that experience with you you had to leave it behind and that made bethesda games because of how big they were they weren't they were still necessarily really fun to play however it would take up a lot of time and you would not nearly have enough time to play it because if you were on the move you could rarely ever play it but with the Switch, as you can probably guess, you have more time. You can take this wherever you want. And let's say you're going on a road trip, you could not play you cannot play Doom on a road trip before the Switch, but now that the Switch is out, you can. And it's because of that reason of why Bethesda games and all games on the Switch do really well on there because of that one portable feature. And Bethesda probably sees that in the sales numbers. So Obviously, Bethesda is a for-profit business, so they're going to want to do what makes sense to turn a profit. And I think that publishing on the Switch, it's not going to be it's not going to be too expensive and it's going to help it's going to do a lot for them and it's going to help them in the long run. Plus, people on the Nintendo side of things, if they had just been on the Nintendo side before the Switch, they were not exposed to Bethesda games. And on top of that, people who have been very loyal to Nintendo systems and have not played on any other system have not been exposed to Bethesda games before this. So this is a very huge deal as more and more a uh, giant market of the industry is now playing more Bethesda games. And those people probably want more after getting great products that are already on the Switch, such as Doom and Skyrim. And those people probably want more games from Bethesda besides Doom and Skyrim to really fill up their time so that they can do more things on like a road trip for example or on an airplane wherever they are where they can finally actually play these games plus Bethesda could go a different road and publish some more games too so maybe they would publish Doom Eternal and Rage 2 and games like that on the switch however maybe they would also pu pu however maybe they would also publish other games such as Quake which has been confirmed to be possible to run on the Switch. Basically, people have been able to hack its way onto the Switch, and it can be done. And like I said, as a completely different point on its own, I own Skyrim on a lot of different systems. I'm a massive Skyrim fan, and that really got me into Bethesda. And one of those systems is the Nintendo Switch. And that experience is easily the most phenomenal and the best, the best out of all of them, just because of that one portable aspect. Some games they do want to try too, such as Doom, but I would prefer to get them on the Switch 
just because of it, the fact that it's portable. And because I want to pick up more games, I'm more interested in these games because I have more time, it means that Bethesda has more and more people being exposed to their games that maybe even people who never even thought they would like those games. All of these reasons combined mean that Bethesda is obviously loyal to the Switch as they have been showing great interest in publishing on the console as they have done it in the past too. Of course though, those are just my opinions. If you have your own thoughts, please let me know them in the comments. This video was not structured incredibly well and I do understand that. However, this video was just really meant to be more of a discussion. So again, please leave your opinions in the comments. If you want to go on my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And again, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.